Hello and welcome, my name is Ryan, I'm also known as RM2K Dev. Welcome to the next video in my RPG Maker VX Ace tutorial series. Today we're going to be covering voice acting, how we both record the voices and how we use them inside of RPG Maker VX Ace. Now, I've set up a little demo scene here in the King's Castle. It's a little bit corny, going with the traditional RPG, you know, really, really old school RPG driven um, storyline here. Now, all of the voices were done by me, so you're going to have to excuse the terrible voice acting, but this is you know, it's just a tutorial to explain the process. Um, so let's run the game and we'll have a look. So setting is obviously you've just entered this castle. You've you've been told to come and report to the king for whatever reason. Um, we've walked up the corridor, up the steps, and we finally encountered the king's throne room. We're going to speak with these soldiers first, then we'll speak with the king. He's too old to be a soldier. I'm getting old, but we're still soldiers. All right, so you can see they are uh, responding when we speak to them. Let's talk to this guy. Halt! Only those with official business can speak to the king. All right, now let's speak with this guy. I don't think these boots fit me properly. That's my favorite one. Anyway, let's have a chat with the king and see what he has to say. I fear the worst. The days grow shorter and our nights are getting colder. Reports from the west have been nothing but a confirmation. The ethereal summer is ending. What? Why is this happening? The life force that once guided our world in the path of light is fading out at the hands of the Darimon. I understand, sire, but what could I possibly do to help? Travel to the sacred shrine north of here and step through the void. Request audience with the gods of this realm and ask for guidance. Young hero, our fate lies with you. All right, so that was some pretty serious RPG dialogue. Now let's try and leave the castle. Uh-oh, what's happening? Mere mortal. Darkness will consume this land. And the Darimon will once again reign supreme. What was that? All right, so that is the conclusion of our little RPG story there. I just set a little scenario up just so you can see how it would, how a game would look with, you know, some voice acting in it. So to actually begin this tutorial, what we're going to do is set up a um, some sort of potion master in this section down here in the little potion room. So I'm just going to drag my hero over there so we can start, you know, close enough to it. I'm going to right click and make a new event. I'm just going to give this guy some graphics. I don't know what graphic we'll use. Let's have a look at people. Um, perfect, we've got this little professor cleric, it might actually be, oh no, there we go, we'll use this guy right here. He looks like a potion master. There we go. Um, oh, actually, you know what, I liked the first one, he, he seemed to have a more interesting expression to his face with the glasses and everything. So we've got the, prof we've got the potion master set up. I typically do all of my voice acting work in Adobe Audition, sorry, Adobe Audition or Adobe Audition, however you want to say it. You can use, um, there's a free program called Audacity, which is basically the same thing, but free, so you can use that. You can also use any audio DAW software, so that's a DAW, Digital Audio Workstation, usually for music production, but again, music contains vocals and vocal processing tools, so this will work fine in any of those. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say something like, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm going to clear my voice for the voice acting I'm about to do that's going to be absolutely horrendous, so please forgive me. Um, I'm going to say something like, hmm, if I combine this and this together, my god, I've got it. And I'm going to do it in some sort of like nerdy scientist voice because, you know, he's a potion crafter. Um, so everything's already set up to go. I'm just going to record my voice in here and I'll show you the editing process that I go through. This isn't going to be a comprehensive edit. We're going to use some presets. Um, I will make another video on specifically on voice acting in at some point in the future but this is going to get you halfway there at least um so yeah let me let's begin this recording i will have to cough it may be loud i'll back away from the microphone hopefully it's not too bad <coughs> okay just clearing my voice up for this hmm if i combine this together and that together my god i've got it all right, so we've got some audio in the system. Once again, I apologize for the terrible voice acting, but you know, the worse it sounds in person, the better it's gonna sound in the game because games are all about character, personality, and you know, exaggerating things to the max. Let's give that a listen back and see how it sounds. Hmm, if I combine this together and that together, my God, I've got it. All right, so 
At the moment, sounds a little bit raw. We've got a big intro here of silence, a little bit of outro, and there's this clicking, thumping noise at the end. If you hear that, it's like, that's just me disabling the microphone for the recording. So what I like to do, just delete the beginning, get rid of the end. Um, that basically just clears up those, those beginning and end bits. Um, let's have a listen to what this little peak here is. Hmm. Now that's obviously some mouth noise. Hmm. There's like this sort of kind of sound in there. So I'm just going to zoom in on that, get right up into it. Just going to highlight it all, right click and just go silence. Then what I'll do is I'll highlight that intersection where, where the silence meets the start of the word and I'll just select auto heal. What that's going to do is it's just going to smooth it in together. Hmm. It now you're not going to hear that mouth noise at the beginning. So that sort of cleans up the vocals just a little bit. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to apply a preset to this just to get it sounding a little bit more professional, a little bit louder, closer to normalized volume. Um, and like I said, again, we will go into a more in-depth tutorial about actually dealing and applying with these effects. Sorry, actually dealing with and applying these effects. But this tutorial, we're just going to use a preset. I'm going to pull out the podcast voice preset and we'll have a listen to what that sounds like. Oops, I undid that. Put that back on here. And let's have a listen to what that sounds like. Hmm, if I combine this together and that together, my God, I've got it. Hmm. So now what you're gonna see is the audio, it, it pops out a little bit more. It's a little bit louder, it's a little bit brighter. Um, the lower sounds of my voice have been raised and the higher sounds of my voice have been pulled back down. That's just due to some compression. And we also have a bit of volume leveling on there as well as, and also a hard limiter so that we don't clip. We also have a parametric equalizer, which I believe is just cutting off the bass and rolling up the treble. Again, this preset was just designed for podcasting voices, but it works fine inside of RPGs. So with all of that said, I'm going to apply this effect to this audio channel. Um, and then I'm just going to save this into our folder. Uh, I'm just going to call this demo audio. I've got a folder set up for this called audio clips. And that's going to save out into the file. Now I'm going to jump back into RPG Maker, go over to our little professor guy over here. Here he is. Um, and before I, sorry, before I open that up, I'm going to go into our resource manager and import that audio. So I'm going to go down to audio sound effects. So you can see these are all the voices that I've made earlier. I'm just going to import the new one, which is demo audio one. We can listen to that and see what it sounds like. It should sound like what we just recorded. Oh, sorry. We can't listen to that here. I went all silent, ready for it to work and it didn't work. All right. So we've imported the audio. That's fine. Let's open up the, uh, the potion master, the potion professor, whatever his name is. And I'm going to go and add a command to our contents. This command is going to be that I would like to play a sound effect. It's on page two under the music and sounds. It says play SE. Uh, and in here we can demo the audio. So I'm just going to demo the demo audio. Hmm. If I combine this together and that together, my God, I've got it. Now, you do have some pitch and volume control options in here. What I like to do is I like to have my um, voice acted audio at 100% volume. And then you can play with the pitch a little bit. Just, you know, don't go too crazy with it. Otherwise, you're going to sound like a demon. <laughs> and if you go too high, you're going to sound like a chipmunk. Hmm. If I can buy so don't go too crazy with that. You know, one... One or two up, not too bad. Hmm. If I combine this together and that together, my God. That still sounds a little bit chipmunkish. It's not like an old man. I'll try dropping it a little bit and find a sound that works. Hmm. If I combine this together and that together. I'm going to go with that one for now. I think that works okay. So I'm going to select the auto, press okay. Um, make sure we know what we said. Uh, I believe I said, hmm, if I combine this together and that together, my God, I've got it. Uh, I'm going to add another command. This command is going to be show text. It's just going to say, hmm, if I combine this together and that together, my God, I've got it. Uh, and I'm just going to capitalize my eyes because if I don't, people will shout at me in the comments. Um, there we go. <laughs> I don't know if the eye on it needs capitalizing. No, it doesn't. Of course it doesn't. I don't think it does. Anyway, give the face graphic, which is going to be the old man. Uh, which one is it? It is, which one is it actually? People one, I think it might be, yes, it's this one here. Perfect. Um, and then we're just going to press okay. So now what we've got is the audio playing. I mean, this is pretty straightforward stuff. We play the audio, you show the text. The interesting part about this is though, if we add a, another command, it's going to be stop sound effect page two under, um, the music and audio category. 
it will basically allow the user to end the dialogue and also end the voice acting at the same time, which is essential if you have multiple uh, multiple dialogue texts strung along against each other, like I did with the King. You have to play the audio, show the text, and then stop the audio. Otherwise, if the player uh, powers through your dialogue, you know, just you know, clicking the A button or trying to get through it really fast, you're gonna have all these different voices stacking up and layering on top of each other. Let's give that a quick run and uh, hopefully, hopefully it works. And obviously with the background music, it'll sound a lot better as well. Hmm, if I combine this together and that together, my God, I've got it. There we go. That's a basic voice acting tutorial. And just for fun, before I end this tutorial, I have to speak with my favorite guy. I don't think these boots fit me properly. <laughs> I love that one. Anyway, if you guys have enjoyed this tutorial, it's been brief, but I hope it's given you, you know, it's given you the idea behind how to how to record your voices, how to get them into RPG Maker, and how to you know time it up with the dialogue, obviously, um, and also the little trick with the stopping as well. If I play the King's dialogue and then try and power through the text, you'll I see what I mean. The worst. The the what? The luck is. I under travel. Yo. I fear the worst. See what I mean? It uh. Um, reports from the west. I'm gonna have to wait for him to stop now. But a confirmation. Yeah. So you see what I mean? It sort of just powers through the dialogue and um skips at, because you've got that stop in there, so it stops the last one from playing and then starts the new one. Uh, that really helps a lot. So anyway, if you didn't, you if, <laughs> start that again. So if you did enjoy this tutorial, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. It really does help me out and uh, every single comment and like, you know, means a lot to me. So um, go ahead and do that if you feel like doing it. Otherwise, if you enjoyed this tutorial and you found it useful, you know, comments, questions, feedback, suggestions, that sort of stuff, comment section below. If you have any requests for another tutorial inside of RPG Maker Ace, let me know here or on Twitter. I'll try and get them done. I'm making a big list of these tutorial requests you guys have been sending through. So hopefully we'll have some awesome RPG Maker content up in the future. With all of that said, thank you for watching and bye for now.